Hey everyone, it's h 2 Joe here, and today I am speaking of an incident that occurred on the Jeremy Kyle show. Um, if you haven't heard by now what happened, there was this male um, domestic abuse victim who went on there, and when as he was telling his story, and the fact that he had to jump off a third story balcony just to get out of, well, get out of the relationship, um, a lot of the members of the audience laughed at him. So, domestic violence is funny to you. Right, let me just be the first to point out that you're a bunch of fucking hypocrites if you're laughing at him, because if the roles were reversed, and this was a woman trying to escape, everyone would be shouting the odds about the guy, going, oh, he needs to be locked up, oh, he's a violent psychopath, you know, and the women of the world would be in fury. But it's okay to laugh at a male domestic victim, a male domestic violence victim. That's okay, is it? Basically, what you have said there is that you find domestic violence against men funny. Well, let's get some alarming facts on there f out there for you. Here's a true stat for you. 40% of domestic abuse victims are men. So, to all the people out there who go, well, it doesn't happen. Actually, yes, it does. Yeah, the number's a little bit smaller, but just because it's against a man, that does not mean it should be taken any less seriously. So, by the fact that you are laughing at this guy, what you're basically saying is, is that domestic abuse is funny, and that even if it was the other way around, you'd still laugh, right? WRONG! I'm just gonna say here that I would defend anyone who has been a victim of domestic violence or abuse. I would defend anyone. I don't care what the dynamic is. Female to male, male to female, male to robot, robot to fucking alien. I don't give a shit. Abuse is abuse. End of story. There is no more to it than that. If a person acts in a way that makes you afraid of them or is trying to control you and you feel that you're not, you haven't got your life in control, that's abuse. If someone is lashing out at you physically, that is abuse. If someone is making you feel worthless, that is abuse. And as I stated previously, I don't give a fuck what the dynamic is. Abuse will always be abuse. There is no more to it than that. So before you laugh at the next male domestic vi abuse victim, think to yourself, how would you react in a, if, if the roles were reversed? Because truth be told, if you're not reacting in the same way, than you would if a woman's getting abused. You're a fucking hypocrite. And in my books, you're a fucking cunt. And I know that there are a lot of female domestic abuse victims out there, but I think that if anyone has been a victim of this, you should all seek the appropriate counselling and the appropriate help for you to move forwards. Because it is out there, and you should never, ever have to tell your story and feel like you're going to be judged or laugh at for it. Nobody deserves that. So if you are at all a victim of it, please seek out the appropriate help. And don't be afraid of what people think. Because there's always going to be some cunt that... Well, like the members of the Jeremy Kyle audience I mentioned. But at the end of the day, you still have a right to get the, any help that you need. And all the support you need. It's out there. Don't be afraid of dicks. And stick to your guns. And I fully agree with what Jeremy Kyle did on this one. I'm fully on his side. And a lot of the time I think, well, that's a bit far. He can't do that. But today, I'm fully with him. Well, that is all I have to say on the subject. Again, thank you for watching. And just, just remember, don't be a dick about domestic abuse. It's no laughing matter, whichever way around it is. Never is it acceptable to laugh. So, don't be a dick. Bye.